Hey guys, what's up Leo? Thanks for watching. <laughs> Appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future. The situation. And the obstacles in your way. And the outcome of that situation. For some, you may have got like a really confusing energy. Or a really confusing text lately. Or a message, something like that. Or I don't know if it even came through. All right, so Leo, um, remember the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it how you need to. Also remember, it's a general reading. So just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, uh Please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. All right, so for some, there was a situation could be involved in a Capricorn, but we have the Six of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Five of Swords. So there's your energy as well with the Strength card. You can see with the Devil and the Six of Pentacles, like you have two people here on the sides and then someone in between. It's almost like kind of pulling the strings. But with that Devil, that can be a lot of things. Um, you know, it could be, shit. it could be money, addictions, you know, self-sabotage. Something came in between or something there. It wasn't completely balanced, but, okay, the Ten of Swords, the Hierophant, Taurus energy, the Sun, your energy. Wow. We went from the Ten of Swords over here to the freaking Sun. This is like something that ended... Or, you know, it could have been a betrayal, somebody feeling very defeated, just like something was over. And then by the time we get to it, you come out with the sun, which is the happiest card in the deck. And it's kind of interesting because you can see in this picture, like, the sun's starting to rise over there. Maybe it's the moon, but we're going to call it the sun because we're ending with the sun over there. Show me this ten of swords for Leo, please. Let's see what this ending was. Again, just because it's the media future, it could be it could be that something ended here, but um, it also could be yeah. See, I see that. Yeah, you know, somebody that's been watching this King of Wands, I and mean, that could be your energy. Somebody's trying to race in, but at the same time, it's like somebody may have walked away or kind of like stepped away from the situation. So it's the Page of Swords and the Nine of Swords. I think this is somebody who, I mean, it could be your energy, could be theirs, but somebody um, is really, it feels like the masculine energy is really worried that something's over. There could have been, sorry, there's a uh, military plane flying over, and they get really loud. Okay, sorry, I'm not sure if it comes across too loud uh, on the video. So, anyways. This King of Wands energy, right? This is not normally the type of energy. This is somebody who's very confident, very, like, um, full swag, things like that. And now somebody is sitting here worried like crazy that something's over. And it's really draining. It's really weighing on them. Like, losing sleep, that's a lot of, of stress. And with the Page of Swords, it kind of feels like somebody's trying to figure out what's going on. Um, could be watching, could be spying. For some, this is like a single dad with two kids or something like that. Not all. Uh, just came across. Show me this higher fence. No, no, no. So the higher fence, like I said, is towards energy. The higher fence represents like uh, our values, our morals, our beliefs. Can't have to do a like marriage. Show me this higher scent, please, for Leo. Please. Maybe. Thank you. The two of cups. Aw. They do want to approach you. Something here may not have been equal give and take. Something about some type of money or something. With the lovers there, Gemini energy, something may have kind of came in between, may have intervened here, but there is still a lot of love around it. Show me on both sides. Uh, show, tell me more about this Two of Cups, please. Thank you. The Four of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody doesn't want to lose this. 
they're spying on you. This person could be at a distance. So, I mean, for some, they could be, um, you know, like watching something that, yeah, with the Hermit Virgo energy, something that you do online. Because it may feel like this is over or kind of be like at that point where shit feels like it's over. But somebody is not trying to let that go. Actually, they're trying to talk. They're trying to communicate. But something here may still be like on the fence or, um, you know, like I said with the devil here. The Capricorn energy, something could have been very like physical, very sexual. And now we go to like the stalking vibe. But... Like I was saying with the devil, something, you know, may have intervened. It could have just been some type of argument, some type of conflict, some type of drama. Show me the sign for the outcome for Leo, please. No, 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 no. The Knight of Wands. Well, so, uh... The Knight of Wands is a very quick energy, and it's this king over here. Knights represent actions, right? So it's this king's actions. And it doesn't have to be a male. It's just a masculine energy. The Three of Swords, the Three of Cups. Um, The thing is, let's see what these cards say. The Knight of Cups, the Fool. It does look like somebody's going to take some type of risk. Uh, make some type of move here with the fool. Um, there is a lot of love, right? I think for some, you may have two people here. Uh, one would be more loving. One would be more like a player energy kind of in and out. The Three of Swords and the Three of Cups, though, it, it's like somebody is, is trying to, like, hang out, trying to meet up, have drinks, reconcile, that type of thing. There's still just one too many... Unless you're, like, dating and this person's at a distance, there may... Show me that Three of Swords. There's too many energies over here. Unless it's, like, somebody that, like, you're just dating and, you know, having fun. If it's two people... Yeah, see the Six of Pentacles. I, I just feel like something here is still kind of caught in the middle. At least, you know, it's just an immediate future, but it does look like, um... One side of that equation may kind of get the short end of the stick. And by that, I mean, like, somebody kind of ends up hurt here or ghosted. Because, see, when you have the Six of Pentacles, right, and things are kind of divided, they don't have that flow, that equal give and take, you end up with that Five of Pentacles. So, and the Four of Pentacles is here. So, when we have... Things caught in the middle. See that one pinnacle that somebody's holding on to, at least another side lacking. So like if this was money, right? And and somebody should have saved up their money and things didn't flow all the way. So then it leads to poverty or loss, feeling without. It's almost like in order to hold on to one side, something else has to get left out. So unless you have, like I said, two people or you're doing some type of dating, something here is not all the way balance but there is a lot of love around it but it's almost like this this worry right here is going to push communication and push someone to take action queen of wands the magician so the queen of wands is your energy you also have the king of wands so i think it depends on in this situation like um you know you could be trying to find some type of balance like with work and love but what also what it feels like is the queen of wands has a lot of admirers um you could have a lot of people like trying to come towards you, be very busy, things like that. You have the power to manifest. So if it does feel like the ball is in your court here. Just because that Queen of Wands, like I said, that is your energy, but you're you're like you're it. It's all eyes on you. I mean, you definitely could have more than one person that's trying to approach you here. But for some reason, there's strong energy of, um, 
I don't think it's you, but somebody's kind of going to get the short end of the stick here. In order to not lose something. Because they're really worried that it's over. Really weighing on them. Alright, Leo, we're right back to that devil. <clears throat> don't get caught in a situation with the nine of wands or like you've been through several times or like it keeps pulling you back and then you get up and try again and then you keep ending up right back in the same spot whether that's you know because of like something that's very sexual maybe it's an ex maybe it's alcohol drugs dependency something like that it, it'll vary from situation to situation but all right, Leo, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.